Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing okay out there. It's getting to be spring pretty soon. Time's going, I get going spring forward. Yeah, spring forward, but I think here in Arizona, it stays the same. Here's a new project for you, for Eugene the Jeep. Well, this here is a third light LED ring that I'm going to install inside of the tire, of the spare tire. So let's get started. With this installation, basically all you're going to need is to remove the tire for right now. So I have my four-way, I have my locking um, nut here or con contraption. So I'm going to remove the tire from the Eugene the Jeep. Oh, you're going to need some gloves as well. So I have my gloves here and let's get started on this project. Should be pretty cool, should be quick, should be easy. Now that I got the housing off here, I'll go ahead and remove the other lug nuts here should be pretty easy quick to do and like i mentioned earlier you can try this here on your car or well, if you have a jeep the last one i did was i installed a high lift bar on the front of the jeep you guys might have seen that in a few of my videos if not i'll put a link above that you guys can check it out so i like to do kind of modifications on the, the jeep as well as the big rig to my left here, to my right. <laughs> Can't keep my days and my left and right straight here. But anyway, let's go ahead and remove the other one. I'll put that in my pocket. Remove the other one as well. So, got to take the last one off here. This is for the locking nut here. So I have that in my pocket. Go ahead and remove that as well. Take your time. It's pretty cool. This four-way here I had for many years. I just happened to paint it black just because I it was getting kind of rusted out. But once you get this here off, we're gonna lay the tire to the side. Take it off. Just lay it to the side. We're gonna remove the seven screws here. Get this one going here. You don't want to strip the screws. There we go, coming off. Not bad. Now that I have the seven screws off here, I'm gonna keep those in your pocket. You don't want to lose those. The next part of this project, you want to remove this third light brick housing. So I put my gloves back on. And you basically you want to take this here off from the back side. Kind of Keep an eye on how you, this is going to be connected. With this part here, I'm going to just snap it off. It should come right off real easy. You take that off and lay that to the side. With this Y connector here, this is going to go for the OEM connector for the Jeep. This connector here is going to go to the third brake light that was installed originally on the Jeep. And of course, you have the last one. This one's going to go on the third ring that you saw earlier that I'm going to show you a little bit more in a bit. So I'll go ahead and install this OEM connector here. On the OEM connector for the Jeep, it's going to snap right in. And there you have it. That's all to it. So now this part here, the purple connector, this is going to go on for the third brake light that was originally installed on the Jeep. So let's get that installed. You're going to go ahead and connect this right back in here. It should snap right in like so. You can see here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently place the wires back the way they were. I'll we'll channel this section around on this side here. Make sure you don't get any crimps whatsoever. Looks pretty good. I'll snap this back on. All right, there we go. I'm going to replace the seven screws that you saw me remove earlier. 
So that'll tighten this here down. You still have this one wire here. This is going to be for your third brake light. So keep that nice and um, handy right here. That way it doesn't get crimped on anything. So let me go ahead and put the screws back in. This here, what I wanted to show you, this comes with seven screws on the original bracket here. And one of them is a really long one. Well, two of the really long one like that. And then you have a series of smaller ones like that. So the longer ones are going to go on the bottom and the short one's going to go around the perimeter of the bracket. So let me go ahead and get those installed. I mentioned earlier you can call it Extreme Terrain or Quadratech. This one here is a Quadratech type ring here. So now we have this connector here, you can see, and this is the ring. I'll remove the plastic, lay that to the side. I'll put it in my back pocket, that's fine. Anyway, ah, there we go. So, from there you have this ring. Around this ring here, you have a series of LEDs. And when you step on your brake, these LEDs illuminate. So basically, you take this little plastic panel here, and you're going to just put it on here, just like so. And so now the tire is going to go over this here and then this connector here is going to go on the connector that I showed you earlier that is going to be secure. I took my wires around the inside of the housing for the tire and I connected on to this connector here. Press down, make sure this here is connected and you leave it inside of this housing here. This way it doesn't get frayed from the tire itself. I'll gently take my tire and I'm going to take it and put it over the housing for the third brake light. And you're going to maneuver it over the lugs that you replaced earlier, like so. And it's going to hang in like that. And now it's time to put the lug nuts on and put the um, locking nut that you had on here earlier. So I'll take my lug nut and I'll go ahead and just get this started. You don't want to tighten it down too much because you want to get all of them on first before you tighten it down. There we go. And I'll take my four-way after this here, and this will tighten it all down. I'm not going to tighten it down too tight. Just want to hand tighten because you don't want to break the plastic. Or you don't want to break the plastic housing for the third brake light. Just enough to get this here tightened. It's not going to go anywhere. All hand tighten. Then I'll go ahead and lock it with my other locking key here. Tighten that down. That way the tire doesn't go walking away. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you want to hand tighten. Just enough where it's tight, but not too tight. Just enough. There we go. Just give it a little bit more torque. Tighten this here down. And that's all to it. Remove this here and don't forget to take your key and put that in a safe spot. And I have my third brake light here, it looks good. So now what we're going to do is put the third brake light housing back on. All right, almost done. Lock that in. I'll go ahead and lock it in with my hex. Nice and tight. There we go. Now it's locked in. Not going to go anywhere. And that's all to it. Last part of this here, we want to make sure that the third ring is on, that the brake light's on, the OEM third brake light is connected. So let me go ahead and start up Eugene the Jeep.
Well, that's all to it. Wasn't bad at all. A quick project to do. I hope you guys like it. You guys can get this here for your Jeep or if not for your vehicle. I'll put a link below. You can give Extreme Terrain a call, even Quadratic a call to see if they have this here for your vehicle. But do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like. Hit the subscribe button below and I'll bring other tips, tricks, ideas to Eugene the Jeep as well as the big rig to my right to the channel. Until next time guys, take care of yourself, be good to yourself. See you next time. Bye.